Come on, sorry. Hey guys, welcome to Takamson. Welcome to my channel once more. For this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make quick and easy microwavable custard. Um, this I call this video custard in seconds. So it all really without me filming this video, it only takes about one minute to 30, like 30 minutes or 45 seconds to 30 minutes, uh, one minute to do this recipe. The only reason why it's going to take any longer is because I am giving a tutorial to say on how to make this custard. So this is custard that you can make in the microwave and this is how it goes. It's very similar to other custard recipes I've shown using hot water but this time we're just going to use just milk. This is milk custard and I'm using not bird eye this time because they're, I, I, I didn't wish, wish to. Their, their prices were increasing in a lot in some places. As the, it was almost like 150 or 140. So I decided to get Asda brand. So this is Asda custard powder. And it's really similar to bird's eye comes like that I used it I did this recipe last night and I've eaten like this before I just never thought to film it that much but it's similar this is how their own custard looks um, so this one is by birds it's powder and custard like birds one so what I'll be doing is I want to because today I want to eat lemon cake it's my custard because that's what I usually like eating with my cake or maybe sometimes with akara and any other delicious food like that that goes with uh, custard as well as apple crumbles. So this lemon cake I got it from um, Home Baggins. Um, so it's going to uh, be like my lunch slash breakfast because I didn't eat breakfast and it's very early in the midday. It's about um, so it's lunch time now. And then I'll be using one glass of cow milk. This is from Iceland. I use a lot of Iceland milk, they are good, but I always prefer cooperative though. But Iceland is the better version. Iceland milk um, is from Iceland, it's not Iceland milk, it's whole milk from Iceland. I mean, you get it. It's some... So I used, I measured out using this <laughs> that I use for my thing. I'm, don't worry, I cleaned it. I measured out one and one cup and one quarter cup of milk. Oh no, one third, one third, yeah, one third. I measured out using these two. Um, one Just to do the custard. So I use this to to measure out the amount of milk I wish to use. So it's pretty much one glass of milk is pretty much what it is, but just for specific and people that like specificity um, it's one cup with and one quarter is it one quarter one third whatever of milk liquid cow milk in this now you don't have to use cow milk you can use other milk that you want and that could equally be um, plant-based milk to do your recipe so first of all I'm going to measure out using this spoon. You can also use this as well. Okay, so I'm going to measure out into this bowl. Into the, uh, um, I'm going to just heap out three tablespoons of custard for myself. Okay. Um, as before. Three tablespoons of custard as I know the amount of custard that I want and then using the cow milk I'm just going to add some well including the droplets to release the to release the lumps and dissolve the powder into the milk like my old recipe mentioned okay. I'm simply dissolving 
the cost um, custard and you can check out my other videos on how to make custard powder in the link in the description box so what I've done there is just added the whole milk that I wanted to use to make the custard um, I started out by microwaving for about one minute and then added an extra minute when it wasn't done so altogether it was two minutes but I would advise that you take the custard up from your microwave in between each minute and stir stir with whisk rather than a spoon as I use that here so stir with a whisk rather than a spoon even a fork is better than a spoon so that helps you to remove the lumps and make your custard smooth <coughs> so after the one minute look at it do you see it's forming it's forming and it, but you can see it's still very watery so we're going to add another one minute to it so which you see about two minutes okay guys this is the result after two minutes of microwaving it okay it's forming so what we're going to do is do our best to turn it so that the lumps don't get stick in the bottom okay so it's kind of formed so after two minutes there you go now oh shoot sorry <laughs> oh it's all formed up okay after two minutes it was done to be honest come on sorry Sorry, after two minutes, this is our custard. Now it's gathered some lumps, but you can just easily dissolve these lumps, really. But you can see how it looks for now. So, one thing I realized with this, this is the finished look of the custard after two minutes of microwave microwaving it okay so I've done a little bit of lump reduction <laughs> surgery a little with it so this is how it came out okay if you see like that's kind of what the lump came out okay so this is how it looks then okay so if you're going to make your custard in microwave it is doable. My only advice is what I discovered learnt from here. Funny enough, it, it happened differently when I did it before. It came out fi quite fine, to be honest. But here is what I learnt from this one: is that after that one minute when it was gathering up, it's best to stir it at the bottom. It possibly would be better to stir it at the bottom to release the lumps that it was gathering and then put it again for that other minute to get it to look like this okay so it is doable but it's still got some a little bit of lumps to it but you can still do more lump reduction to be honest when it comes out but it's not bad as a custard so this is our, our experiment so <laughs> okay so it's not bad you can still see the lumps but again can always reduce the lumps. What I would do is add more liquid, which is the milk, to it, and then I'll microwave it again um, to loosen up the texture or the density of this custard. All right, and then I'll have it for my food as I wanted to. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from doing your micro uh, microwaveable custard. All right, thank you. Bye. 
So here is how what I learned from the, making custard in microwave. The reason why it has a lot of lumps is because custard is made with egg. So if you cook egg in the microwave, it pops up everywhere and scatters and even makes your microwave look like a bombshell. So um, that's the reason why it gathers that l much lumps uh, in the microwave. Uh, however, as I added more liquid, the lumps became very much reduced. Um, again, the best equipment to do this when you're doing a microwave, please, is to use whisk. A small whisk will do, hand whisk, okay? And um, that reduces the number uh, amount of time you have to be taking out the lumps. And also make sure that you take it out every 30 minutes. 30 seconds to stir before you leave it too long um, because then it will gather a lot of lumps um, to it so on that note thanks for watching and that's the video done if you try this recipe please can you let me know how that has gone for you um, if it came out okay and what did you use to make it better this is what I call an epic fell resurrected but I'll try and do another video with this microwave that will make it look right and simple enough to do all right thanks for watching um and until next video take care